All right, you made it to module three. Go ahead and take out that worksheet. So you figured out about how much you cost as a human to yourself, or at least a, a ballpark, I hope. Now this is where it gets tough. I'm just giving you a warning right now. This is where we separate grown-ups from children. Impulse control. What is more important, this ice cream right now or that vacation in two months? Living in this awesome apartment or paying down student loans over the next 30 years? We really have to begin prioritizing, talking about what's important to us. The thing is, it is so easy to just want what we want when we want it. Um, but it's like scratching a mosquito bite. It's such a relief, but in a few days, you've got a scar. So I love financial advisor Dave Ramsey's famous tagline, you must live like no other so that one day you can live like no other. And this was a really good reminder for me um, because if you can start um, exerting a little bit of discipline now, it really does begin to pay off. And it helped remind me where my priorities were. So eventually you are really doing the things and making the choices that matter to you. So let's break it down a little bit. Let's take your combined family income that you did in worksheet, uh, the worksheet number two, and we're going to break that down into allocating your spending in order to start paying down your debt. This is based on your current income. Again, that low ball number that you chose. Feel free to pause the, this video at any point um, as you're filling out worksheet number three. So again, go ahead and write that monthly income at the top on that first line. Then you're going to take that monthly income, multiply that by 50%. So you're going to take that number, like $1,000, and you're going to multiply that by 0 0.50. And then you're going to write down that total. That's going to be your appropriate spending on essentials. So I'm looking at the worksheet right now. So again, your monthly income times 0.5, and whatever that answer is. Okay? Now you're going to take that monthly income, Type that into your calculator again. Multiply that again by 30%. Again, your monthly income times 0.3. And go ahead and write that down in your appropriate spending on lifestyle. Now last, you're going to take your monthly income, same original number, multiply that by 20%, 0.2. Whatever you get, write that down for appropriate spending on the future. You can go ahead and double check all of that if you need to. Now you're going to take those figures from worksheet number two and above and enter them into the comparison chart. You can see your current spending, again, all of that from worksheet number two. What are you spending on essentials? What are you spending on lifestyle? What are you spending on your future? And write those numbers down so you can take a really good look at the comparison. Now let's break it down a little bit further. What is your monthly income, again, and multiply that by 30% again. That's 0.30. What did you get? I know, it's crazy, but you should only be spending a third of your income on your rent or your mortgage alone. This may seem impossible, and I live in LA. I totally get it. It seems ridiculous. It does not seem possible. But again, the reality is if you want to get out of debt, and you want to build wealth, you have to, to figure out how to cut back and get, find the deals and, um, and be willing to live within your means. My dad used to always say, uh, Growing up and for sissies, <laughs> that's the truth, because it really forces us to make some tough decisions. So this is where Mint.com or using a budget template can really help. Uh, feel free to use some copies of worksheet number two to break it down again, so you can start um, taking that essentials and figuring out how you can cut back on some of those costs. Use those amounts, those totals you found for appropriate spending based on your income, and use that to break down your new budget into smaller parts. So everything under living essentials, for example, take your rent out of that, um, take your utilities out of that total, and how much do you have left now for cell phones, groceries, gas, that type of thing. In the lifestyle category, how much do you want to be spending on cable, on eating out, on your gym membership? What's most important? What can you do without? And then we'll get into your future category a little bit later. This is where you're going to begin paying down your debt and then eventually investing. So if you're thinking, no way, I love where I live, even though it's outside my means, then 
I'm telling you, you're going to have to get ready to make some serious sacrifices elsewhere and some big ones later down the road. Or you can always make more money. <laughs> In the meantime, if you want to get out of debt and feel more financially secure, this is the reality. You must take a really good hard look at how you live and you're going to have to make some grown up choices. Here are some tips for reducing some expenses. Move somewhere more affordable, enough said. Figure out how you can reduce your bills and your utilities, your monthly expenses. Um, begin cooking at home. Eating out is expensive. Your weight will thank you too. Um, are you drinking a lot? Uh, do you go out a lot? Drink a few beers at home instead and of buying drinks out of the bars. You'll end up cutting, cutting the cost tenfold. Um, sorry ladies, but the expensive hair salons and getting our nails done every two weeks is not necessary. You will save so much cutting back on some of those. Um, so trust me, it's worth it. Um, how much are you paying on your gas? Are you able to carpool where you work? And um, obviously, if you can want to learn from my experience, no more coffee shops. Those suck our bank dry. Get a coffee pot and start making your own coffee at home. That is all for mo module number three. I hope that was helpful. Feel free to replay me if you need to do so. And I will see you in the next module.